Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to override the standard footer on Cloud Craze. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to go into our code and we're going to make a new page. I'm going to call it CC footer. Yes. All right, and I'm going to leave that here for now. And we're going to go back to CC Admin, and I'm going to go to Default Store. And this process is a little different than regular edi editing a page. So, Configuration Settings. And instead of hitting the New button first, we're going to look for a Module, and we're going to look for Footer. Alright, so there are two ways you can set this. You can override the global storefront, which would affect all your storefronts, or you could just create new footer page name. You'll see enabled equals true is in here. You don't have to do that for the footer. Um, page, just say all. That means it'll stick around, the footer will stick around for all pages. And then value do C underscore underscore CC underscore footer. And after that we need to go to global setting, cache management, build new. Alright, it's done. I'm going to activate it and deactivate the old one. And this down here on the bottom should disappear. It should, should, oh, <laughs> should get a blank, yep, blank footer. All right, and now we're gonna go back to our Visual Force page and I have some code already here. So I put an H2 tag Amanda's here, and then I have a static resource that I'm using one punch man and I'm gonna save it I'm gonna control shift R hard refresh the page and here we go so we have our Amanda's here's text and the one punch man image so when you're styling this footer, you're going to need to do a lot of CSS. It's basically a blank canvas for you. Um, so you'll have a fun time there. And you'll notice we didn't copy any script type e equals text templates. Uh, we don't need to do that for the footer. All right. Good luck. Bye.